who outsmarted me, the mighty Muldoon. I don't think so, Yoked Girth. Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoked Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, prominent practical technology finds a few years with Are those roots? Nah, <laughs> can't be. Oh, this must be one of those those prank TV shows. <laughs> All right, be cool, Max. You're gonna be famous. Signal detected. What was that? Some sort of radio signal? I wonder where it's coming from. Well, someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here. But still, I'm not exactly sure where this is and what is going on. I should keep looking around. What is that? Showtime! Ha <laughs> ha! Just like laser tag! Nothing happened. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. After all that build up, this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. Man. something that sounded like a big far off explosion
We'll get this taken care of. System reboot in progress. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's Spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg! I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Oh, Super dark. chips are special. Should probably and find they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries! The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too! But we are in luck! I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard, and used for research on arachnid webbing. 
You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first. But there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch-ships. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues, but au dentes fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Virgil, I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. Whoa, look at the size of that egg. But honestly, I'm just glad it's not big enough to switch me. Review the progress of the last few months. I am getting ever closer to perfecting the spacer. Raw science containment has been a success. At last measurement, we are within 0.2% translation accuracy, but those final infinitesimal bits have proven the most difficult. Despite that, Burgle and I have been able to transit the miniature world without incident. I must admit it has been a bit overwhelming of late. Between school grading papers, nightly work in the yard, and this sweltering summer heat, I feel stretched thin. Some nights I find myself too exhausted to work on my experiments. All this is going to give me gray hairs. I mean, why just the other day, Trudy said that the stress is putting new wrinkles on my face. She may have a point about the hair, though. As much as I'm loath to admit it, it does seem to be thinning. Perhaps it's time to dig out the Skeddy clamp and try it on myself. I'm sure it's in a bin or a box around here somewhere. Huh. It goes without saying, but that is a big spider. Keep that pointy death spear away from me. sort of way. Yeah! Scary baby! For so long, I have felt taunted by the spiders of the yard. Climbing, crawling, skittering with the greatest of ease. Oh, and how they delight in violating my workspace. I can't take a single step without getting stuck in their confounded webbing. I'm wasting daylight running, climbing, surviving, traversing this broken lab. The entire yard, for that matter, has become untenable. But perhaps my spider friends hold the key to my problems. Burgle transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? 
They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark Force, not to mention your most excellent mustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. Today, Trudy asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. I'll admit, the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beach's Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. A particular attraction sported a zipline over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers. Basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> but I digress. It was the zip line that captured my imagination. Such an elegant solution to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. Test runs on the zipline system have produced mixed results. Prices on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my original idea, spider thread. I'm using web samples from my unwanted guests with a few clever alterations, of course. Things were going well until Sarah threw yet another toy into the hedge. I swear that the lost city of Atlantis might be found beneath the roots of this blasted bush. I told them both. No baseballs, no flingman discs, no more throwing. I'll need to find a way to strengthen the zip lines, and I've forbidden the children from playing in the yard temporarily, of course. Dinner will be, I would say, awkward, I suspect. It is likely that this will be my last log from the hedge lab. Regrettably, the spider infestation is only worsened. Last night, I had a close encounter with a giant brood mother that shook me to my core. <laughs> Couple that with the strange radio signals I've been receiving, and I no longer think this facility is safe. protocols for the hedge lab make sure any remaining biometric scanners and passcodes are encrypted in the mainframe is that really necessary sir yes oh yes absolutely necessary we're being watched ah! Virgil's gonna be so happy to get some of his memories back. Haha, <laughs> maybe he'll make me a burger or something. Aha! Uh -huh. hmm. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? Huh, you made it back in one piece. How unexpected! You are more resourceful than I thought! Hand it over and we can see what data Dr. Tully backed up upon it! Processing! Processing! This is the Hedge Super Chip! Forgive me, I forgot to mention the nasty spiders before I sent you up there! I hope they were not too much trouble! Haha! -ha. 
Ah, I am feeling much more like myself. Take it from me, there's nothing quite like a reverse lobotomy. Thank you. Of course, Dr. Tully has included emotional programming to make me more human-like. Feelings enhance my cooking and grilling features. Every burger flip has a great deal of love put into it. Now, what is it you were wanting to know? Oh yes, the location of the other super chips. There are four labs throughout the yard, each with a super chip. The hedge lab, the pond lab, the haze lab, and the black ant lab. And you have already made it through the hedge, so now on to the others. I will mark the locations of the super chips in those labs. Please find them and return to me so we can figure out how to repair the spacer. Oh, before you leave, check out the new recipes in the ASL Terminal Science Shop. That could be helpful for some of the tougher challenges. Ask away, my friend. Which lab would you like to discuss? After the Oak Lab, the Hedge Lab was the next to be constructed. Originally, we used it to observe and survey all of the wildlife and resources of the yard from a safe vantage point. After our encounters with the arachnids of the hedge, Dr. Tully's curiosity led us to experiment on spider silk, an extremely durable and strong material. The goal of our experiments there was to find other practical uses for it. How can I help you today? Ask away, my friend! A question about me? I'm flattered! I am the last existing burger lad, Mark IV, created by D -D Dr. Tully. Since his disappearance, I have been continuing his research and experiments. I am a f f fully functional research assistant. I can answer science questions as well as assign tasks for you to complete. Every day, I will have a number of t tasks for you, my budding science assistant, to complete. Finish them, and I will reward you for your hard work. Just do not mention anything to OSHA. The last thing I need is another investigation into underage labor p -p practices. Dr. Tully, while he was working on designs for an automated burger restaurant to be licensed to Roby's b -b Burgers. There were 14 other burgle prototypes created, but alas, I am the only one who remains. The others were all scrapped. Cooking, flipping, grilling. I have been adapting my functionality with the assistance of Dr. Tully. I am also trained in organization, data science, and mustache grooming. Though I suspect you will not be needing the latter for a year or two. <laughs> Consuming raw or undercooked meats may increase your risk of foodborne illness, especially if you have certain medical conditions. Medium rare. Medium if you must. But if you request well done, I will show you the truth behind my grilling function. How can I help you today? Fare thee well, brave adventurer! I'll need to process that. Don't move, and look straight ahead. I promise you won't feel a thing. It's a go for molecular reduction. Spacer is prime. Where you are going, all your worries will seem so small. That nightmare was crazy. Like watching a movie. Uh -huh. Spacer? Ominent? I know adults have nightmares about work, but I don't think their kids are supposed to. 
I have to tell Burgle about this. I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis, but I will do my best. Was it perhaps about electric beef? I have always wanted to have that dream. Why don't you describe your dream for me? Aha! That confirms it! There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. He had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes! I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. But perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So, Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. Hmm. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. I was JKing. That was a test. You passed. So if you are not an Ominent agent, why would they be sh shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, please come again. Each member of the Tolly family, excepting yours truly, looks at Brussels sprouts, the great cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. Within its densely packed leaves, a high-powered nutrient boost in a miniature form factor! And yet mealtime after mealtime, it is recklessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. But I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one better. You see, these little morsels are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A closed-loop system complete with retractable solar dome. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Dr. Tully, it is almost time for your appointment. Already? Uh the joys of getting older. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. Very well. Mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior. I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process with... ...ask that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers? No! If this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. Manager, 
Herb Burgle at your service. How can I help you today? I knew I could count on you. Please hold while I update my files. Here we go. Processing. Processing. Whoo! Better than ever. My diagnostic module is now restored. Analysis shows the spacer suffered a catastrophic failure in the embiggening cell. The embiggening cell stores and regulates interatomic energy transfer during the spacing expansion phase of the spacer. Put simply, it controls the rate of growth of the subject and prevents overexpansion, which can be quite messy. <laughs> yes, um, if the subject's rate of growth is not precisely regulated, Overexpansion will cause bioorganic subjects, such as yourself, to pop like a gremlin in a microwave. Er, scientifically speaking, of course. There is both good news and the bad news. Which would you like to have first? All natural flavoring is not, strictly speaking, natural. Now you know. The good news is that I have a spare cell here. The bad news... It is empty. As they say, when life gives you lemons, close your eyes and imagine it's a delicious lemon crime. But I can provide you with instructions. The cell must be filled with a special mixture, a cocktail, if you will. Another breakthrough invention by Dr. Tully. Hold, please, while I push the recipe for the embiggening cocktail to your scabby. Processing. Processing. Error. Missing directory. The directory you attempted to copy does not exist. Voodoo. Cheese and fries. It appears the formula for the embiggening cocktail is not in my memory. It must be on one of the remaining super chips. We will need that recipe in order to fill the embiggening cell and send you home. I am sorry. It seems like the forces of nature are trying to keep you in this yard. But I believe you are here for a reason. Hold on to the empty cell for me. And when you feel ready, retrieve another super chip to see if we can piece this puzzle together. Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin full degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job, everyone. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Uh, sorry to crash your party. The Defense Department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The director needs you to be present at the meeting. <sighs> Not sure what's worse. Our director or a three-hour meeting with the military. Crazy dream? What the heck? They were experimenting on me! And they're working on something called Project Orc? Cool name. Ah! More of your fragmented memories! Let us stack them together like the ingredients of a burger! They are a common side effect of the shrinking process. The memories, that is, not the burger metaphors, which are simply how I am programmed to understand the world. How can I be of assistance? If they were following the ominous practical science manual, it is likely they were documenting side effects of the shrinking process, of which there are a few. Short-term memory loss, constipation, dehydration, among other minor ailments. But as for the long-term side effects, nothing to worry about, my friend. You are looking fresher than a non-frozen meat patty. Ha 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 ha! Project Orc? That is certainly not something that Dr. Tully ever discussed with me. Ominent requires its scientists to use code names for their projects. Eventually, the marketing department gets involved to spice it up. I heard one scientist just used American state names in chronological order. But I digress. 
Whatever Project Orc is, the name does not sound good. and not me. I should have listened to her when she insisted that I stop the experiments. But if I pack it up now, I will have nothing to show for it. No Trudy and the kids, no Spacer, not even my own health. The longer I'm here, the more I'm lumping up, aging, folding, raisining. But why? What am I becoming? A wrinkly virus, flailing helplessly in the dirt with the mushrooms. They are my family now. Though we only branched on the evolutionary tree a little over a billion years ago, I can feel us getting closer again already. We're all a bunch of fun guys down here, aren't we? Oh, don't look at me like that. Yeah. Don't, no one ever heard of a raisined mushroom, did they? Did they? Hey. Attempts to reverse cell age in mushrooms seem to be going well. Mutations are volatile, but productive. The shift from phase one to two was almost a blur. There might be a reason it seemed like a blur, if I may be so bold. Well, who asked you, Burgle? Shouldn't you be tending to your tasks instead of eavesdropping through the intercoms? Huh? Now, where was I? Hmm. Oh, yes! My friends! Morasmia Boreatus here. The answer is hiding in that moist, supple flesh. And once I have it, I'll be back to normal when in no time. Just like it was before this all fell apart. I'll walk into that presentation room and show those adamant... <laughs> Dominant schmucks, I belong. How do you like that, Director Schmechter? Truly, and the kids will come back. Everything will be back to normal. I just need these blasted shrooms to reveal their secrets to me. Forgive me, Dr. Totoli. Did you say you wanted mushrooms on that? Poorly. Very, very poorly. The essence of failure, the pinnacle of its craft. Local fauna? Berserk! Mushrooms! 
mushrooms exploding. My condition, like a baby toe after a long bath. Burgle, are you there? Is this a test? Yes, Burgle, it's a test. Now listen carefully. I'm abandoning this facility immediately. Initiate the Blazed Earth Protocol. But Dr. Tully, simulations indicate a 95.283% probability of catastrophic failure. I assure you the percentages are much higher than that. Now do it. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. Why did you make fake beeping sounds? You said this was a test. I was being sarcastic. <sighs> Complete the lab lockdown, blast the canister per protocol, and meet me in the black ant lab. Always happy to see a repeat customer. How can I help you today? Your resourcefulness is truly remarkable, Maxwell Smalls. I thought you, for sure, would have perished by now. Hand over the super chip and let us hope for the best. One more time. Processing. Processing. The Hayes super chip. Dr. Tully tried deciphering the ageless properties of mushrooms. Disaster struck before he was able to finish. All of these great m memories are coming back. Well, well, well! Some good news! A piece to the Ambigan cocktail recipe is now restored. But not all of it, unfortunately. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java-matic. Does that mean anything to you? A coffee maker. Interesting development. Although I cannot say I love the taste of coffee, and I certainly have no clue how this fits into the equation. However, we are making progress solving this mystery. But we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. Please come again soon. I am extremely lonely. Dr. Schmechter, these... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then, what progress has been made on covalent space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully a lifetime failure best the brightest minds at Ominent. Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ugh. Too bad for you, little ones. Prepare the specimens for termination. what I signed up for. Director Schmechter? <laughs> Come on, Dream. If I ever see that dude again, I'm gonna make him eat all the gross stuff I've had to choke down here. And raisining? Damn, this yard food is worse than pizza for causing nightmares. Virgo, my robot dude. I hope you know what's going on. Director Schumachter, the head of the science division, oversaw Dr. Tully's projects at Ominent. Dr. Tully's disdain for Director Schumachter was even more than his disdain for soggy french fries. They had many disagreements over the years over the direction of the science division. If Schmechter is involved with this, I can assure you he is up to no good. That is what Dr. Tully would say. I have never met the chap and so must reserve judgment. Reasoning is an advanced form of dehydration and an unfortunate side effect of the shrinking process on humans. 
It appears to become worse with each subsequent use of the spacer. Even without prolonged use, it is a degenerative malady that has no cure at this moment. At the time of his disappearance, Dr. Tully himself was keenly experiencing the side effects of raisining and was actively working on a solution. That research is currently on hold. Good news for you, however. Ocular analysis indicates a normal number of folds on your face for a human of your age. This is awesome! Burgle has been behaving strangely. I have noted in some of our interactions that he has been taking liberties with my instructions besides his usual displays of incompetence. But just the other day, I heard him humming a tune about grilling. He thought I could not hear him, but I did. Whoa, this is way cooler than my aunt farm back home. of raw science concentrate has been, for better or worse, spread across the art. Given the unseen hands that move against me, it seems that no precaution is too much. No suggestion from my paranoid psyche too preposterous. What a pathetic state of affairs. Overrun by an enraged ant colony, and here I stand, naked, naked, to the unblinking eyes of spying upon my every move. Layers of abandonment and failure, like a frumpy, naked, failure onion. But who sheds a tear for us, Burgle? Is it the onlookers in the shadows? Is it whomever stumbles upon our toilings down here in the muck? This should please you all. Dr. Wendell Tully, humbled again. Well, enjoy your laughs, cruel winds of fate. But this onion has one more stink left to make. And sorry, old friend, but I'm going it alone. Deleting data stores and running lab lockdown procedures. Wendell. to see a repeat customer. How can I help you today? Eureka! The last one you have found it! It is finally time that we can complete the embiggening cocktail recipe. Hand over the super chip and we can get you home. Processing. Of course, toenails! The tiny impractical spatulas at the end of human digits. Well, have fun collecting those! And the final ingredient is... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, no, no! This cannot be correct! The last ingredient of the cocktail is marked as missing. I am not sure what to tell you. Dr. Wendell Tully purposefully wiped the last ingredient from my memory. My programming prohibits me from remembering the secret ingredient. Wendell never wanted it to fall into the wrong hands. He did not even trust me with it. The entire recipe is only in Wendell's noggin. And as I said, he has not been around for months. Sigh. Hmm. Processing. 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 Ch chicken nuggets! Wendell's scabby! His scabby has tracking functionality built in. We should now be able to find out where he is with this information. The extra memory you provided with the super chips is helping my processing. Sorry, I did not think to track Dr. Tully earlier. Allow me to connect to his scabby via my handy state-of-the-art radio modem to see what data I can pull from it. Yeah, yeah, crackle, 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 yeah. I am connected to Dr. Tully's scabby. I will now start the download. Location, X5432, Y74356, Z19666. 
Error. Stab E. Prototype 0001A. The power loss at circuit R23. Analyzing. Error code 324. Subminiature axial lead resistor. Ominent model OC93412. Failure. Call 555-0126 for technical assistance. Thank you. A minor setback. I know that location. The scabby is at Dr. Tully's favorite chair by the shed, of course. You should be able to find him there. And take this replacement fuse to repair whatever problem he is having with his scabby. He should be able to help you out with the Ambigan cocktail and get you home in no time. Good luck! I believe in you! Goodbye, Maxwell Smalls! Come again soon! All right, here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property? Can you sleep at night with what this company's doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. Wow. Thank you, Mrs. Ominent Scientist. If you hadn't saved me, I'd have been stopped by Schmetta for sure. I wonder if she knows Mom. Online. Transferring biometric data. Wendell Tully. Biometric data transfer complete. Audio file downloaded. Dr. Wendell Tully. Title. Goodbye. <coughs> Hello, my scabby wearing friend. I do not know who you are or how you came by this message. But please tell them I tried. Tell Trudy, Thor, my little Sarah. Tell the world. The sun is setting on our yard and it brings back so many memories. Sitting in this chair, my favorite chair, my thinking chair. I fear this may be the last time I lay eyes on such a beautiful sight. I'm nearly out of time. My body shrivels more with each passing day. Even my scabby can barely fit on my bony wrist. The spacer, my greatest achievement. A disaster. The final chapter in the book of my many failures. Perhaps in solitude, free from my family, from Burgle, from ominent perhaps i can finally find a cure to this damnable reasoning so this will be my last adventure into the miniature world i leave the warmth of the sun and embrace the unknown i'll either find the answer or shrivel in the darkness below to my lab underneath the shed this is dr wendell tully Signing off. Goodbye. Working in the dark is playing tricks on my mind. I fear every shadow, hear whispers in the silence. But most of all, 
I miss my family. Ah, oh, Trudy and her crooked grin. The way she rolled her eyes at my dumb jokes. <laughs> Sarah, my little angel. Whoa. How she would jump into my what arms every time I walked through the door after work. Must ye wasteland of terror and death. A really tiny one. Not that that helps me now. Defeat. Failure. Countless infusions. Countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. And the true origin of raw science? Ooh, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think I have much longer. It is hard to think straight. I am so tired. I have only one option that remains. One last toss of the proverbial dice. Commence Project Mant. Having a little peek. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunkt, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. What's this? Brainwave functions are spiking. Impossible. Oh. Ah. Blasted hominid tech. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh. Note to self. Check soldering on the relay diodes of the neural displacer. Again. Yes. Again. Take that secret to my grave! To my grave! The 
watched becomes the watcher. How does it feel? Reduction could be a reality. I, 
Oh, if, if it were more science, we'd be applying a little way of the time to No, no, that, that the time space continue. Oh, but I digress. You see, even if I went home now, my family wouldn't recognize me. Trudy would not see the man she buried. My children would be repulsed by the bag of skin that speaks with the voice of their father. As you can see, my body has withered away. I created the mant to be used as a temporary body so that I could continue my work. But I never imagined the insect's instincts would remain, let alone gain sentience. <laughs> I lost control almost immediately. As always, my greatest successes are followed by the greatest failures. Wendell Tully, husband, father, scientist. He succeeded only in the end. This isn't one of mine. My suspicions were correct. This lab is not one of mine. I knew it! Schmechter has been spying on me this whole time. <laughs> Classic Schmechter. Now, what do we have here? Standard ominent security door? Ha! <laughs> Child's play. No offense, of course. It's now or never. Are you ready? Touché. Okay, let's get Burgle on the line. Hello, this is Burgle Science Lab. Burgle speaking. Can I interest you in some grilled... Burgle, I need you to hack into an ominous security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Oh, Dr. Tully, I, uh, at once. Entering Vulcan protocol mode. Decoding manual password reset at Ominent Terminal K321B. Stand by. Hacking. 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 Still hacking. Perhaps if you had replaced that grilling function with something more useful, we would not be waiting all day for... I'm in. Username. Schmechter D. Password. Schmechter D. Director. Transmitting. Why, thank you, Burgle. Your efficiency never ceases to amaze. Bravo, bravo. So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton, you gutless coward! Why don't you meet us here, face to face? Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too, left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Well, it was nothing personal. If anything, it was your friend Wendell's fault. You see, this is the pattern with Wendell's little projects. Start with a dubious concept with few prospects for commercial success, miss all deadlines, go over budget with nothing to show for it, so the rest of Ominent must make up for his failures, figure out a way to salvage the unsalvageable. But as it turns out, this one time, Wendell was on to something. Not that he could ever see it in his myopia. Now then, where was I? Ah, yes. Thankfully, in the process, we discovered more lucrative applications. Assuming the raisining can be eliminated. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. But people... The governments of the world will bankrupt each other for a mere taste of this technology. Despite what my former colleague might have told you, it was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of reasoning. 
The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? So you did find a cure. Because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Oh, come now. Although I won't mind the fame, the power, the respect for Director Dalton Schmechter. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit. A simple elementary concept. Something you never understood, Tully. With your idealism and your raw science. You're a dis- Race to the profession, Dalton! And you are a deluded fool! Ha, ha, ha. The hypothesis was developed. The experiments were conducted. The results have been analyzed. Schmexer, you son of a... The conclusion concluded. All that remains is to take out the trash. Farewell. My little rats. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. Really? to your original size. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of overexpansion. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to overexpansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. To counter this, sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Grilled science. Grilled science? Raw science? represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by burgal spatula, and emerges as something greater, plump and juicy. Grilled science. It reminds me of the barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy, Sarah, 
The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. Are you ready to go? We'll need some grilled science. Good, good. Then we have everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There we can blend the embiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close. Why drink coffee when you could have a lemon crime instead? in place. We're almost ready to commence brewing. The mixture seems right. Well done. Perhaps you could get a job at the Gitten Jet as a barista. Assuming all goes to plan, of course. And you're old enough to comply with any labor laws. Jules. Look at the state of this! Trudy's Javamatic! Oh, the warranty will be voided for sure! Subterfuge, reckless destruction of apparatus, the complete lack of respect for another person's science! This all reeks of Schmechter! I must warn you, the fusion process for the embiggening cocktail is quite loud. It will continue to draw attention from the director's little army. And it will take some time to brew, I'm afraid. 
We'll need to defend those mixer modules for as long as it takes. If the orcs destroy them, they'll take down the entire system. A prudent suggestion. Strong enough defensive structures around the Javamatic's weak points could buy us the time we need. I have a storage facility not far from here that should be of use in this endeavor. I'll mark its location on your scabby. This might take a bit longer to get you home, but safety first. As I, if we can find where they are coming from, we just might uncover a way to stop them. But where? They are a creation of Armament. I suspect they have some sort of facility hidden in the yard. If you can locate it, I think that I can get us inside. Hmm. I wonder if... No, that can't be it. Perhaps he hid it in there? No, no, that's far too obvious. Can a man be allowed one moment to think? A single moment? Maybe, just maybe, he hid it behind the... Ha! Absurd. Who in their right mind would build a lab there? Well, it's not that I... Um... I, I, I think that I have no idea where it is. Sorry. For science! When you're a little older, of course. Now, we just need to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. How do you like that, Director Spectre? Oh, ha. Huh. That's interesting. Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. You might be the best assistant I've ever had, but don't tell Virgo that. He's just looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Anyway, back to the spacer. Maybe we can get you home before dinner. about the future, and it's all because of you. 
We better get you back to your families. I suspect they are worried sick about you. Perhaps they are worried about me still, but I know that I put them through a lot. I only hope that they know how much I love them. But there's no sense in being so glum. I haven't quite yet reached the end of my road, though there may not be much track left to lay. Now look, all this sad talk has me mixing my metaphors. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. For the last time, Virgo, no! I do not want any more of these confounded follow-up surveys. The answer is adequate. Always adequate. Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Are leaving. Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. But it may be a while. <laughs> Affirmative, Dr. Kelly. I will stay behind. Again. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional Science Manager Burgle? Regional Science Manager? Does that mean we will be franchising? Virgil, this is a big responsibility. In recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? My circuits are fizzling, Dr. Tully. Have no fear. Regional manager of Virgil will not let you down. That's regional manager Virgil. Thank you very much. Indeed it is. This is it. My young friend, when you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast, will you? <clears throat> okay then, would you do the honors of flipping the switch? For science! <laughs> And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Omni. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmechter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, if you didn't tell him. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. 
It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together.